This is James Calm, the guy on the bike. We're here in Chelsea on a Saturday afternoon. We're gonna run in here to Bartolome and look at the Jonathan Mies exhibition. Boy, Jonathan Mies is one of the young German painters that's getting a lot of attention these days. This is homage to Andy Warhol. May have done some of this in a performance piece. Now, as I said in the Hungry Butzer show that we looked at a couple of weeks ago, there's a type of uh, heavy painting that's going on that's popular in Germany these days. Jonathan Lees is probably a good example of someone using a lot of paint, a lot of punk expressionism. The actual title of the show is Dictor Baby, Mary Poppins, Cats, Dogs, and Egg Pies, The Revolutionary Delarge is Back. So oh, that gives you a little idea of where he's coming from here. Well, these pieces have got uh, ceramic tiles and different kinds of things he's added in there. Some photography. I think those are self portraits. We've got a selection of sculptures here. stuffed in there. So we've got a large bronze sculpture here in the center called Tot Adler, Baby Chef der Kunst, which I guess a rough translation would be Dead Eagle. Baby Chief of the Arts. It's about 65 inches high by 90 inches wide. That's an addition of three. It's got a quite, quite nice patina on there, a lot of action on that surface. This is Scarlet Tear Baby, the Metabolism Mies Wolf. A pretty good sized triptych here. 118. I. 236. He's got a lot of. Stuff written in here as well, text and things hidden in. Yeah, he's using a lot of paint. This is called Schlachtruf Sets to Diensten. It's 82 by 165. I know that uh, Mies had a show at Leo Koenig three or four years ago, which featured a series of people dressed in Nazi uniforms. And I guess it was a, kind of a political statement about the children of Germany. This is a little more politically neutral, I guess. We're dealing with just the aspects of paint, paint handling. You can see he does a lot of his drawing, he just 
squirts it right out of the tube. Most of these are oil and mixed media on canvas. More Uncle Adolf. This is Sal Konditorei. Stoffwechsel, die Lolly, Lolly, Lolly. This one he's using a black ground to work on. There's Sean Connery. Let's take a run in the back room and see what they've got back here. Well, we've got some pieces that are a little more manageably sized back here. A couple of medium sized sculptures as well. This is Chef Baby. This is 82 by 55. Mixed media and oil on canvas. Geez, look at this, we got his old jockey short stuck on there. Oh, and he's got a 10 pound note. Some kind of sweet pieces. Oh, makes me think of Chris Martin somehow. This little grouping here is all 39 by 32 inches. Oh. This is Stoff der Vixel 7. This is Miss Metabolism. It's an interesting. Uh, collection of basically drawings on black cardboard. These are all 17 by 12 inches. This is a working title. Weltkrieg Ein World War One. Actually I'm I'm surprised this sculpture is very good. It's got a great sense of form and surface. This one's working title is Weltkrieg II, World War II. Also has a great, very painterly patina on it. I'm going to take a look at the installation here in the office. I've got a whole bunch of drawings and some uh, tabletop sculpture. See, these are all about 17 by 12 inches. I think they're all red, black. This group of drawings is a little, a little more varied. We've got different media, graphite, crayon ink on paper. Uh, here we see more of the uh, German military imagery. A lot of the characters have got the little Hitler patch mustache. So this is James Calm reporting from Wurlami and Jonathan Mee's Dictator Baby, Mary Poppins, Cats, Dogs, and Eggy Pies, The Revolution Baby, DeLarge is back. Thanks Kate.